Hello. Hi, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see who we got here. Mushy mush. Hi, Shy and Julie. Always, literally, always in chat. No, it's the pet. We gotta thank our forever support. It's truly appreciated. Mm-hmm. Welcome we back. Left. Welcome back to the hexagon. Uh, it's been a while, not really. Uh, mm-hmm. We are, as you see, resuming our last episode of Sunfall, or perhaps second to last. We'll see. Um, if you had missed it last week, the VOD should be up uh, as this is being recorded. Uh, and if this is on YouTube, then the second part might be up sometime soon. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but for anyone who missed our last session, or who needs a little recap, uh, we met for the first time our three players, uh, and we'll introduce the fourth at another time. Uh, first on the docket was the lovely Alexis Louis Gagnon, uh, a very normal, typical man with no extra qualities that uh, nothing at all exactly um <laughs> with the appropriate one... amount of body hair <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had woken up to complete darkness even though his kind of internal clock was telling him that it was morning uh, and the same thing happened to uh, mervyn fitzsimmons simon's character mm-hmm. and sheeran stones they all eventually met up with various forms of light to guide them. Uh, and seeing as they were some of the first to leave their abodes, uh, they decided to kind of see what was going on. Uh, you know, seeing a, f- a flashlight from far and a, a nice source of firelight is a, a good reason as any to go and find out what's happening. Uh, they all met up, decided to kind of look into what was going on uh, I believe Mervin kind of quickly separated from the group uh, to go and find a old man, Lamplighter, uh, Mr. Grayson Fielding, who was supposed to light the torches uh, all around the city to keep the streets lit at night. Uh, but he had clearly not done his job, so he went to investigate. Uh, as the other two waited around the forest, waited near Mervin's home, had a little romantic encounter uh with some toast and some jam oh uh, my i was fed delicious food <laughs> once again <laughs> uh, mervyn quickly discovered that uh, the old man had been spotted in the forest sort of muttering to himself uh strange strangely saying they've returned they've returned uh and so oh, on his way <laughs> On his way to uh, meet back up with his friends before chasing down this old man, they decided to go into the forest instead, uh, as they had heard a very loud kind of like a tree being ripped in half by something. Um, And upon arrival, with a few different sources of light, again, kind of helping to guide them and see the unseen, uh, they finally... blasted a nice beam of light at the monster that had been following them and slowly extinguishing their flames. Uh, Something that Mervyn, at the end of the session, had uh, surmised or uh, interpreted, perhaps, as a reaper. Uh, And as it swelled with the light of the flashlight that was being shown on it, uh, we ended right there. And so we will pick right back up. I will give somebody the instant opportunity to uh, read a bad situation because I would assume that you're all like kind of frozen for like a couple moments because this otherworldly being is just like kind of coming into itself right in front of you and like absorbing light in a very strange way. And so that's not exactly something that you like react to instantly. Uh, And so I'll give you that small moment to kind of assess the situation slash uh, read a bad situation. All righty. Whoever, well, just, one as, of just one of us, okay. I don't know if I am allowed to do it as I am already trying to shoot uh, my crossbow, crossbow at it. Mm-hmm. 
problems. You're doing so, the calculations. You need to read the situation. Before exactly. You That's exactly what I'm thinking. So uh, I am going to go ahead, which uses sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, sharp. Okay. Sharp. Ooh. Okay, okay. So I got an 11. 6 uh, plus hey, 4, hey, hey. 10 More plus nice. 1, 11. So start us off right. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 10 plus hold 3. Now again, okay. you don't have to use them all now. You do have to use them kind of like in Quickly, the encounter. Yeah. Um, but uh, I would assume you would use at least one right now. Do you need mm -hmm. the list or do you uh, have the discord? Yes, I had the Discord one second. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no okay, rush. got it. Read the bad situation. Yes. Uh, so, uh, da -da -da -da. okay. Uh, what's the biggest threat? The thing that I'm looking at. What is it exactly? Do I know of it? Do I understand it? Humanoid, not humanoid. <laughs> Okay, so you're asking what's the biggest threat? Uh, so I'm going to try and answer that question, but not in an asshole -ish way and just say, it <laughs> you. Thank you. Um, it's the thing in front of you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, I mean, okay, yeah, obviously this thing is, is, a, is a huge threat to you in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but you see that it's kind of like, it's not doing anything at the moment. It's taking in the light as if it's like a substance that its body can absorb. And you see its body is like doing stuff to it. Um, and it's like processing the light almost. And like mm. it's kind of like swirling inside of it. And then like parts will like go dark as if like something happens. Um, and maybe you like, you know, you have the light on it. You're up close with your, uh, uh, your crossbow. Mm -hmm. You see that, like, those parts kind of start to go back and be, like, incorporeal. Like, you can't uh, affect them. But then the other parts, like, swell up with light. And they look like you can see, like, the shadow that the light is making on them and stuff and the shape. And it looks like it's, like, solid. But when that kind of turning from light to darkness happens, it kind of loses that shape. And it loses that, like, physical attribute. So this thing really only seems to be, like, processing light and changing it into something. Um, so mm -hmm. it is a huge threat, but like, what, like, what is this thing necessarily? And like, can this thing like rip a tree in half? You don't think so. Mm -hmm. So you think like whatever you heard in the forest with that like huge noise probably mm -hmm. wasn't this. And it was probably able to like interact with the physical world in a more dangerous way. So there's another bigger threat, uh, you can tell. Okay, so um, that's kind of going to lead me to maybe what's our best way out. Because then I do want to look more for, uh, there's another one that's, are there any dangers we haven't noticed? So I want us to get out and for <laughs> me to actually find what's the real deal here. Because okay. it feels like maybe we're being, um, what is it, like led astray maybe by this thing. Interesting. Uh, only from what you can gather in like these quick moments. So like maybe there's another answer that you would be able to ask later with more mm -hmm. time. Uh, but right now, you think the best way out is just like holding the light in front of you, like the um, the fire or the flashlight, um, and just running out, running mm -hmm. in the direction where the light is, because you had told you had seen before it was like skirting the outsides of the light, and only because he has like this quick trigger, like flashlight was he able to catch it otherwise like it would just stay outside of the light so you would pretty okay. much be safe in whatever path your light created whatever okay. direction you you ran all right perfect so all right and i'll hold the third one where uh what dangers are unnoticed after i'm gonna yell guys stay in the light run with me i don't think this is i don't think this is it and as soon as, as soon you say, you that, say that, Simon, the light, just like the fire, it just like, it just cuts. It's hey, just, what, what's wrong with this thing? What, what's this thing is still like, it's still me messing with the light that was on it. So you mm -hmm. do have like kind of ambient light around you. Is uh, the lamp still lit? The lamp is still lit. Okay. 
No, uh... Okay. Stay close. It's just roiling. Wait, we're, we're, we're running. Why? I... I don't think this is the real threat here, guys. So? It's... Well, I don't know how we can really touch it, as it I... seems like it disappears right with the light. Fine. Where should we go? In the shadow. Uh... I just wanted us to get some distance and maybe I could like gather more more tracks or something like the real thing the true culprit of the sound very well um who's holding the lantern is it me it's it's me um, okay quick thank you to Julie for subscribing <gasps> once yeah. more oh my god oh, damn. Thank, thank you, thank you Julie. Julie hi hi once in a row thanks for coming by Oh, that rhyme. You're such a <laughs> sweetheart. Uh, at this point, you guys, like, you guys are, are figuring it out, then you're noticing that like most of the light is gone from this thing. It's still like staying still and like kind of just like warbling. But all the light <laughs> that it has absorbed is almost all processed now. Uh, okay, that's uh, like a f lamp or what are you using? A flashlight that is being drained? Uh, no, it was the flashlight. I only have the lamp now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot, so okay. if uh, if Mervin has the has the the oil oh. lamp, <clears throat> I'll I'll grab them both by like the hip, <gasps> one one on each arm, uh, and I'll I'll repeat myself. I'll go. Which way should we go, Ed? Tell me. Oh. Uh... Okay, what well, is my best way out? That's once again, I will ask it. Which direction? <laughs> uh, I would say, like, even just part city? of the first one, like, yeah, there's either city or deeper into the forest. So you don't, you don't have to ask that question. You know mm. which way is the is the sea. Wherever you're in the light, Good you're point. safe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, t back to the city. <laughs> just for now. Um, and so I'll just, whichever way you're looking or pointing, whatever, I'm going to grab them and try and like run off with both of them. Okay. That's going to be a act under pressure. Yes. As so. like, once this thing starts to dissipate the last of the light, you know that it like still exists. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like in the darkness behind you. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. So you're Go. running with us? Yeah, I like picked you both up. Um, so I got an eight. Eight down. An eight. Yeah. Okay. On a seven to nine. Uh, so, who? So who's holding the the lantern? Uh, Mervin. Still Mervin. Seven yeah. To nine. So you like, you hold them like both in front of you. Um, you know, you like you try and like hold them out, but it's harder to like hold people with your arms are outstretched. So you like. You bring them in a little bit closer and you're like pushing them along and then keeping them there but no well how strong are you like would you actually be able to physically pick them up in your arms and uh, well uh i mean you're uh uh i have uh i have i don't look very strong but he <laughs> definitely is kind of strong <laughs> okay they're, they're both pretty pretty lightweight so i'll say like you're able to hold them in front of you uh but the position that you guys are in like the light from the the flame in front of you isn't like super washing over you it's more the other two like it does like you know come through but if, so, if there's like a head or a body in front of you the light doesn't really wash over you as much and so you feel like this this quick slash on your back and like from like the top of your shoulder and it like it almost feels like it hooks in and then it drags back uh you take two harm oh. uh, but you do oh. like kind of just ugh, you grunt and you take it uh, and you keep running forward yeah i sort of like i'll wince at it but i'll try not to make too much noise mm -hmm. and also um one of my uh one of my moves is that i suffer one less harm nice. whenever i take damage so okay um, you don't you don't have armor do you i do not okay you would take no damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, you like it kind of like it hooks in and like that hurts, but then as it like scrapes over you, you kind of like maybe you have like overly scarred like back on top of like having like a bit of a hide, I guess, from all the years of 
of fights and stuff and, and turning from one form to the other. So the scratch on your back like doesn't really do anything, but just that like initial hook into your soldier yeah. kind of stings. Uh, and I'll say you may like you make it to just in front or just behind uh, Mervin's house, um, but you still kind of feel. I guess there wouldn't be a feel. You would like hear a little bit of like the like strange like snapping of branches that this thing's mm. sound was making. All right. Yeah. So when we get to Mervin's house, I sort of push them forward and I'll spin around to make sure it's still not like behind me. Um, Maybe rub my my back a little bit. You look. I mean, it's like now the light is like you know a little bit further away from you. You don't see much, mm -hmm. but you see like a little a little bit of flickering, like it's still there. Okay. Um, is it Are you all right? I turn back to them. I I'm I'm good. Thank you, thank you for being so like quick. I might throw up strong my and big. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, also, uh, I am going to keep an eye. Uh, can I put like use some form of deduction, like what that sound could have been, like that tree sound, or I don't know. Uh, are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Like maybe there's something else that I can lead on. Is that your last uh, yeah. situation? Yeah. Uh, any dangers that you haven't noticed? In this case, I would say for sure, yes. Um, but you you deduce in the moment that like that's kind of the whole thing right now is that like you purposely somehow been plunged into like almost complete absolute darkness and like what can you what can you see what can you what can you not miss in like complete darkness you know there could be something like right in front of you but you can't see it so like there could there like the world of possibilities is just like endless right now of what could be dangerous because everything mm. is just like shrouded in darkness uh, and mm. so until you're able to like bring to light whatever is hiding, it's almost impossible to tell unless you want to like face it yourself, like what you just did. Like that's kind of how you you come to it in your head. Like if we're gonna figure out what's going on, you're gonna have to like go in and encounter it. Uh, oh, there okay. Are things that you haven't noticed. They're just you can't notice them because it's too dark. Okay. Hmm. I guess in this regard, I'm kind of like I, I, I guess there's no other way. Sorry, guys. I I thought maybe I could find something that that would lead us. Um, we might need to fight this thing. Um, I could call out where it is, maybe by shooting the arrows, because I can kind of see in the dark, but only slightly. Well, I can fight this thing, but somebody needs to stay on the light. Make sure it does not go out. You, you were keeping watch, right? Uh, uh, I don't want to call you Peter. Alexi? Alexi? Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't really see very much, but... So now that, like, now that you're paying attention and you know to look for something, you notice, like, a shadow of a hand, like just in like the edges of the light and it seems to like go to make like a plucking motion but it's very slow is it like really close to us or or farther away because the light sort the of edge of the light uh it's pretty close to uh all of you but closer to Merv. oh okay and it's um, almost mm -hmm. like you know if you weren't looking for something you would barely see it it just looks like the light kind of like doesn't hit in the right spot in that area Right. Okay. So can I can I um protect a hunter? Protect somebody? Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, by grabbing Mervin and pulling him closer, and like I don't know, putting putting myself between this hand and him. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll to protect someone. Roll big yeah. rolls, baby. It's a seven. Wait, it's plus tough. Oh, it I is plus tough. Don't think tough is very good. Uh, I got a six. Got a six. 
Well, welcome experience. Experience. <laughs> um, so tell me what you what you do. Yeah, I literally like grab his wrist and like yank him towards me. Ow! Because it like it sort of like surprises me. I go, look out! And I like pull him towards me. So you pull him, Mervin. You oh drop God. the lantern, and like as it drops, the light kind of like shines on this thing. You see it like right in front of you, like reaching out. You pull him out of the uh, like out of the where he's going to get hit potentially uh but you see he goes and as soon as like his fingers touch the light goes out from the lantern um and like you like complete darkness and if you were to instantly like grab out for the lantern you don't feel it near you uh <laughs> shit can i can shit. i can I grab it for him? Do I see it? No, you like you don't see anything. Uh, we're all your okay. eyes must might as well be closed. Oh God. Okay, do we hear anything? You hear absolutely nothing. Oh God. I really think it was just going for the light. I need it to be sure. Well. I'll light a match and I'll try and go for the lamp again. Uh, so you go to like reach in like your bag or your pocket to to take out the um, the match, and then you feel <laughs> this thing dig into your shoulder and oh. you start. You don't take maybe damage not. like from it. Well, it like maybe like your clothes are like folded over a little bit and so like it doesn't pierce too hard, but you start to get <laughs> dragged back. It's a lot worse than when you dragged me. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, again, where are you going? Pitch black. <laughs> what? What is happening? Sit alone. <laughs> I am. I am as blind as a rat this yeah. time. I can't see anything. Okay, mm. and we will give you a moment as Mervin starts to get pulled back, and like maybe you're trying to grab at something. You don't really feel like what's doing it. You just feel something's like dug inside of your shoulder. <sighs> Pulling you back, uh, we will pass down the cobblestone road uh, a little bit up. Not necessarily a hill, but you know, like the ground kind of like goes up uh, and to the left a little bit. Still on the forest side uh, of the of the village, uh, and we go into a house, uh, a little a little messy home. Uh, it's not much. It's like a bed uh, a stove a little table like you know no books stacked up perhaps uh, other belongings scattered about but it's nothing to uh, write home about uh, and there's a heavy knock on the front door uh, and monsieur shadim oh. uh, inside i will say that you had been Sleeping in, perhaps you had been like drinking the night before or something, and like you kind of just overslept. And this like quiet side of town right now. Bottles still in my hand to <laughs> sleep. Uh, so can you introduce your character uh, and a little bit about the playbook that you're using? All right, yeah, the playbook I'm using is the Gumshoe, a sort of pi dirty detective boy, a super sleuth if you will. And uh, P.I. Gore comes from a long line of brothers, we'll say. From, from, and they all share a very famous father. They've all been split. And my I left home to uh, start my own P.I. firm, kind of make a name for myself. Um, I'm real, uh, like, tall, like, skinny, messy hair. And I wear a, like to wear an oversized trench coat uh, to make myself look a little bigger. And uh, a nice fedora. Uh, yeah. And then usually under, it's just like dirty dress pants and like a wife beater and some, some suspenders. Uh, <laughs> so I freaking hear it run over. I'm like, who the hell? Uh, uh, bottles clink around me as I like move. I go to like reach, grab my flask, and uh, take a chug. 
and look for a half finished cigarette and light it and drag myself to the door. Said, hold your horses, you rats. Oh. PR go. You in there? Yeah, I would like hurry up a little bit, open the door. Oh, well, brother, it's uh, nice to see you. Uh, As you open the door, you see like just from the light of the lantern that this man is holding, uh, you know this guy is Chris or Christopher Fullen. You both are a little like-minded. He used to serve in the military. Uh, and so he is like, you know, kind of like well, well trained and like he's always he's always a little aware of the situation in the same regard that you are as a as a gumshoe. Uh, but he does a lot less of like the detective work and more of like the come in guns blazing work if there ever is any. Um, but you guys have like spoken here and there whenever there's like something wrong in the town maybe he'll come to you for advice or to help you look into something and i'm not uh, like the toughest either so i like that i like him to have my back to do like some of the dirty work you know? yeah 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 Finley dude just trying to look bigger and be more intimidating and be like oh i was having a dream about my brothers i guess hey uh, chris how you doing I, like, offer him the cigarette i'm smoking yeah, he, he takes it. Can I uh, come in for a sec? Uh, sure thing, boy. Oh, sure thing. He's like shining like the light like behind him. And then like comes in and closes the door and like keeps it near him. Like maybe like puts it on the table, that little table uh, uh, stands right next uh, to it. Uh, or like wipe <sighs> some dirt off my wife feeder. So uh, what's the scoop, Chris? You... Uh, Smells like alcohol in here. You uh, you fit to to get out there? If I could use it'd your take mind. enough elephant to take it. Uh, it take enough alcohol to take down an elephant to stop me. You know this. Yeah, but... I'll look for like a mug and put put my flask into the <laughs> mug so it's less offensive. Like just, just call like it place coffee. it in the mug. <laughs> yeah. Not even for. <laughs> <Yes>. <sighs> Listen, I'm not going to judge you for that, but maybe you don't want to put that aside for now. I really need a, a good pair of eyes with me. All right. All right. I'll hold your horses. I'll put it down. Take out, like, my rummage through my stuff. Uh, oh, here it is. Put on, like, my spectacles. Like, oh. All right. Lay it He's, like, he's smoking the shit out of here. So, like, he's just going to finish it himself. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That, that was from last night. And you see, it's like it's actually like calms him a bit. He was like a, a bit tense and, and fidgety looking around, but he like <sighs> this in uh, PI goal. I, I, uh, I'm out of my uh, I'm out of my expertise out here. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. The lights are out everywhere. You put on one light, it seems to come out. Out of nowhere, just poof, it's gone. Can I kind of like analyze him for a second to see if I've ever seen him like this shaken before? Uh, yeah, you you look at him, and I guess you see he's like normally he's going based off of like, ah, uh, this ain't worse than what I encountered uh, down in the uh, 52nd. Uh, fucking uh, platoon. Platoon. <laughs> uh, so he's always like basing whatever he encounters on like stuff that he's already seen that's much worse. But you see him like searching for like words and like searching for ways to describe what's happening, and they're not coming. Uh, he's so he's really like his his expertise has has uh, no benefits to him right now, like in no. war and stuff. So I'll be like, I, I calm down, calm down. I'll make you a cup of hot brown to calm your nerves. Uh, and I'll stop and I'll be like, start start from the top. All right, well. I'll take out my notebook. I don't know if I have time for a cup of brown. I guess yeah, I it'll be good no. for you. And I'll right. like, start like mashing up. Right, so quick, quickly, quickly. Beans. <sighs> around the pot, get my tin pot, start it. Like the fire, you're saying that darkness is creeping after you. 
Why don't you go ahead, my friend? We're going to get the dice rolling. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be investigate a mystery. He's here to tell you stuff, but I mean, you're 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 a gumshoe. You know what questions to ask to get the right information. Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. Uh, with the plus two, that's a hot, hot eleven. Woo! I believe that is two questions. Uh, yes. Oh, oh uh, okay. No, no, never mind. That's to manipulate someone. Two questions. Hey, I got them. I got them right here. Um. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I guess I, I have to start with uh, what happened here. All right. A good question to start with. Um. Well. All right. Well. And he's still like looking around a little bit now. Uh. uh focus, Chris. Focus. Yeah, sorry. Woke up in the morning like I usually do before uh, crack of dawn, and uh, well, there was no moonlight, there was no sunlight, but whatever, you know. Sometimes darkness can can creep over the the village for a spell or two. So I started walking around, and hmm. I got my lantern with me, and suddenly the light goes out, and I'm I'm out of light. I realize I'm really in pitch. Pitch darkness. Mm -hmm. Pitch darkness. Yeah. Like no light passing Nothing. at all. Nothing. Really, we have no stars in the sky usually. This time of night, when I'm up like that, right before morning starts, you can see at least a few stars or moonlight or something. Anything. Even uh, even if not, normally uh, the old man's got the uh, lanterns lit, but Nothing. So I think to myself, that's a little weird, but I'm not sure how to investigate lack of light. So I go over and I see, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, he's always scrounging around in the in the outskirts of town there, uh, Alexi. Yeah, oh, yeah. Him. He's always been an interesting character. <laughs> Does... Nothing dangerous, though, I don't think. Well, you know, I heard a couple things a couple weird smells coming from uh, his place there but not one to judge too harshly uh without any proof yeah uh, people it. like us can't necessarily judge <laughs> i've hidden my fair share of bushes uh, you know uh, staking out and stuff right yeah. right right <laughs> it gives you like the up and down so uh, anyways, it's it's just, it hasn't stopped. And now it's been a few hours, so I know the, the, the sun should be out by now. No sources of light, nothing sticking. I'm hearing weird noises from the forest now. It sounds like uh, someone's in there cutting down trees or something. I think I heard yeah, some sort of scream or something. And I can't keep, I can't go and keep everyone in their homes because we don't know what's going on. I'm trying to find the other members of the council and get them together to have a plan of action, but I can't make it more than uh, you know a few paces without having to relight my goddamn lantern. It's too much for me right now, and I I know uh, it's a lot to ask, uh, but would you mind kind of taking over a little bit for me? For an old friend, anything. Hmm. And if you're shaking up, I know this is a doozy. Um... Did you happen to see anything, you know, uh, hidden or uh, lurking? <laughs> uh, which question? I don't know why I'm, I'm missing that. Piece. Oh, what is being concealed here? What is being concealed here? Uh, he kind of like leans in. He, uh, not for nothing. There's been some stories about Sunfall, where it got the name. And why no one really seems to know too much about the history of this town. I mean, we do pretty good here, but nobody ever comes really to, to stay or visit or do much trade. So it doesn't really make sense why we, we've been prospering like this for so long. Uh, you know, usually there's some sort of explanation in the history of some grand event or something that brought a lot of money into the town. But there's nothing really... 
but that uh the old man there uh i mean also it's weird he's like one of the only old men in the town hmm. don't really know how old he is but uh Brainy he's always indeed yeah he's muttering about things here and there about creatures of of of, of darkness and it sounds like those those kids tales that we that you know we tell those youngins but now that we seem to be living in it i'm thinking maybe he knows a little bit more than he's uh, letting on all right well i'll tell you what jim you make sure all the people are safe around and i'll go see what i can sniff out <laughs> is that a I don't get it. Like sniffing out clues. It, 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 don't worry about it. You, right. you, I'll, I'll handle it. You, yeah. you said Alexi, the old man. All right. Yeah, I don't um, know where they went off to. Uh, I'm heading to the, 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 the town center. See if we can rally some sort of, who knows what, mob of people. I don't know. We just need numbers, I think. But you come find me. Uh, I'll probably be near the church, and if I'm not near the church, just yell out, and I'll, uh, I'll see if I can hear you. And I, like, look down for a bit, scrummage around, see if I find another unlit cigarette that's half finished, <laughs> grab it, and I'll be like, you got it, Jimmo. Uh, and you give it, give him one for the road to calm the nerves and pour his hot joe and oh, uh his lantern look, sticks it in his hot brown sorry <laughs> no go. all right brown. i'll let you know if i turn any rocks all right good luck out there be careful and hey bring some extra matches i'm telling you something there whatever you got it's not gonna last long you got it all right take care puts the light out of like your door checking around and then runs off with his steamy brown in hand and lantern in the other. Just a cup of steaming brown. <laughs> I go, okay. Uh, kind of like <laughs> brush everything off the table. <laughs> like new mystery, new start. <laughs> Grab some parchment paper. I write down darkness in <laughs> big bold letters. Uh, what are uh, you using as a source of light right now? Um, I guess like a, a little, uh, a, oh yeah, because it's dark in here. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it'd just be like a little like oil lamp. Okay. Yeah, like kind of light a match, uh, turn it up a little bit, adjust the dial, right on my paper, right? Darkness in big bold. And I kind of stare at it for a bit and I go, it's darkness that light can't penetrate. Hmm. Now, I guess I'll start writing a letter to um, one of the brothers, uh, I guess one who studies uh, weird things. Okay. And I'll basically ask, uh, well, have you ever heard of something that steals light? Um, yeah, and then get that ready. I'm not sure because I, I have my um, my like naked city ability. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how I can communicate like uh could have like pigeons. <laughs> uh, let's see, pi gore. Uh, what's like a, a gory way to get the news around? Uh, Little pigeon coop. <laughs> I guess. Uh, goodness gracious! What's the here? Let's look at the let's look at the wording of uh, what is this? this? You have lots of uh, the naked city. You have lots of personal mm -hmm. contacts wherever I go. You can hit them up for info. Maybe a small cost involved. Yes. Um, I mean, is this someone who's like in town with you or out of town? Um, I'd say for purposes as one of us who came, but I, I would think they'd be more out of town. Okay. Uh, in that case, send an owl. <laughs> uh, you can send. 
you can probably just sit yeah i wouldn't say you have like a whole the whole coop uh but you probably have like you know one one like uh like run down kind of pigeon that's like tough and gruff uh you know like it's been through some shit with you. for emergencies <laughs> um and you like you know it it gets the job done um but uh, he looks a little worse for wear uh but yeah you can like you can kind of go out and and, and call for it yeah i don't uh, need the information right now but yeah. i at least want to like put it out you know you would um, also be able to send a telegram i would say but that would be more like you have to go and like get it sent it wouldn't be as as maybe the response would come quicker but it's more of a complicated process yeah and then dark. this is more secret too yeah okay. um so I'll, I'll send it out and i'll go alex and then under darkness all right alexis alexi <laughs> ah all right no grab my coat take my lantern and heed his words uh a few matches and uh extra matches and and head out oh i'll also like grab my um it says i could have like two recording devices so mm -hmm. this will be like my camera and then <laughs> my like crank weird invention <laughs> camera that we got from the homestead uh... and then like this little like recorder that uses little like record players that i kind of like gotta zip out pop them in and i can talk to myself uh that i have to store them after mm -hmm. um so i'll pop one in and i go note to self darkness has befallen the town i've been asked by chris my right hand man to investigate alexi is the new lead follow up End point and I, I like take it out, put it back in the sleeve, and uh, mark it with like a little little one of something, Amazing. and head out the door with my lantern. You know that like when you use it, it like in the moment that you're using it, it kind of has like a reverb. Like in the process of like recording it, the sound that you're making like does come out a little bit, and so like as you're saying like Alexi, it'll be like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it kind of like, you know, it's not the most like secretive way of recording things. Uh, it like kind of gives off a little sound of its own. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it records the, the voice uh, as well as it can in the late 19th century. Uh, and yet you write your one. Uh, which way are you heading? There's like, uh, so if you're leaving your house, it would be on the right. Um, more towards where he had just run off. It's like where most of the town is. Uh, there's other houses. You know, I like Alexi's houses that way. Uh, who, who knows how well you know Mervin? His house is that way as well. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the other end, uh, there's not much, but you know, on that end is where uh, the old man uh, Grayson Fielding lives uh, on that side of town. Uh, but there's um, not yeah. much else there. It's kind of like the outskirts. I, I guess, yeah, I'll go. I'll go visit the old man first, since I know uh, Alex is uh, more towards the uh, populated area. So, yeah, like you know, I'll uh, get. I'll get the weird thing first, and then zip back. Okay. Yep. Put up my uh, collar. Walk into the night. <laughs> The name Alexi kind of like rings out in your head. Uh, and we will address the first uh, connection of two characters here. Uh, do you remember how you know this young man? Uh, so let's start with you and then we'll go to Alexi and see what he has for you. <laughs> so gumshoe. Come Oh, this is pararomantic. That would have been fun too. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. No. Uh, shit. Uh, so, what are you thinking for Alexi in terms of history? Uh. I was thinking maybe uh, someone who tried to hire me for a job, but I was too drunk or high to take it. 
Uh, is that actually one of them? Wow, amazing. Yeah. What the hell? Okay. Uh, yeah, Alexi, what did you want? And then uh, uh, Shidi will tell you, you how you brushed them off. Or how he brushed you. What do I want? Oh, like what job? Yeah. yeah. Um, you you just do investigations, right? You're not like, you're not going to like take someone out. <laughs> no. That's not what you do, right? Eh? Okay. No, no. So but, um, but Chris could have. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I asked you to, uh, in, oh, actually, I have, I have something. I asked you to investigate uh, about a particular priest that had been excommunicated. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, no, no, that doesn't really make sense oh, okay, in terms yeah, of the time yeah. period, right? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Um, perhaps uh, then, then just the the church in general. Uh, see if, uh, in particular, if if there are people after me. Okay. Uh, how did you How did you brush that off? I think I like agreed, <laughs> and then asked for like more and more drinks. The kind of like I was like kind of like placating you and writing <laughs> things down asking more and more questions but i needed more drinks and you're like kind of buying them for me and, <laughs> the blood and then of i kind of just like passed out mid-conversation and then on uh like on the notepad it just says like what a knob <laughs> <laughs> okay it's spelled wrong somehow yeah <laughs> Uh, so not the most positive interaction. So with that in mind, uh, what are you thinking, Alexi? Um, all right, what do I got? Well, considering that this probably means that our interaction was very brief. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I'm trying to think here what would make the most sense. Uh, my options don't. I'm not entirely sure what would work here. Oh, maybe. Well, no. I already, uh, I already actually, saved Mervin. Uh, could be tied to your curse slash origin. Oh, uh, because he like in the canon of this world, mm -hmm. like he kind of was. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a gore after all yeah <laughs> we're all guilty of something yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the gores had a hand okay. of like the science behind like what mm -hmm. because it wasn't just like a bite that turned you it was like like mm -hmm. you had guys had seen in hunters which nobody will, will know about <laughs> there was like this this like potion or, or something that somebody created and gave to somebody to see if it would like replicate what you had uh, and it did but they went crazy and they killed one of the players mothers uh, and so like you know you could be kind of like mixed up in that not necessarily PI gore mm -hmm. but you know that like the gores always have a hand in like that kind of that kind of stuff like okay. science gone wrong kind of, kind of thing. yeah and maybe that's what brought me to him in the first place is because like I recognize the gore name yeah, and um, I'm like super. I'm like weird. I probably looking knew too. some of the other gores too. I'm like yeah, I'm like Slendermanish. You know? yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> like, like, it's what like happened gross. to you? <laughs> I'm big forearms. I'm just long. I'm just a long boy. Ugh. It, it looks so wrong. <laughs> uh, but right, we will follow you uh, this way for a moment, and then kind of like pull back and just see your back go off into the distance. And as we pull back further, we will land mm -hmm. upon Mervin, who has now been dragged a few feet away. Not like you're not completely <laughs> out, uh, but yeah, you are just like actively being dragged. And it doesn't go, you know, like when someone's walking, they like have to take a step and then meet their feet back. So you like kind of stop being dragged for a second and then go and like it, there's kind of a rhythm to it. You are just being like pulled by something that's like just pushing or pulling you along with it in a steady, uh, slow way. Can, can I try and do something? Yeah, absolutely. In my panic, I'm just going to draw my revolver <laughs> behind me. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> okay, uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be Give a revolver. <laughs> you're pulling it out i'm gonna say that's a act under pressure but less than okay. a kick some ass let's see act under pressure i'm i'm better at it. all right okay let me but see. you can always try and make an argument for another move. no that makes sense that's a seven okay on a seven to nine, I believe that is uh, what you wanted to do happens, but not quite how you wanted it to happen. Uh, I don't don't shoot us. <laughs> uh, I'm aiming behind. <laughs> so you you blow back and like you shoot yeah, this trying to, like, thing. Whichever shoulder. Yeah. Uh, I would assume that like since it's on this side, you're like reaching back oh i yeah like i would probably go the other way yeah not okay. this. hold on i don't have your camera up uh okay now i'm looking at you okay well like over the shoulder like to actually hold the gun like this not okay so you shoot out and like you feel yourself get dropped by this thing but your ears are just ringing um and like if it like you know alexi's and now so you're basically in pitch black and you can't hear really yeah. anything senses are gone i feel the <laughs> oh, ground God. underneath my butt <laughs> at this point uh, and all, i guess uh alexi you would see like the momentary like poof, flash. flash of light yeah uh, near his face oh. whip my head in that direction um i'll sort of do like a little duck at the sound of the gunshot and then i'll uh I'll just dive forward for him. I don't know how far he is at this point. Uh, you would probably like, well, if we're thinking like werewolf, you would like get on your feet and go like hands, feet, hands, feet, <laughs> and then you would be able to reach him. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Like a couple, a couple leaps, uh, or or just running regularly. No. <laughs> Wolverine leap. <laughs> uh, that's going to be another uh, act under pressure. You're like, you know, mm -hmm. pit, trying to find someone in, in the pitch darkness who's not responding to your your cries yeah can't hear anything can i can i help him with it by uh yelling up my raven like a code for attack <laughs> so then it like tries to attack the thing and yelling so it's like easier to sure. follow the sound uh roll your know? help roll well <laughs> wait in darkness well, wait for <laughs> his roll. Okay, okay okay let's do it again Hello. Wait, what's the attack command? <laughs> it, it's always like a sound, so it's like a chirp or a... a coo -coo 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 -coo. <laughs> there you go. That's the sound. The best death sound. <laughs> um, I got a nine. A nine. So, I uh, help would push him to a ten. Nice. Uh, okay, so how do I do you help exactly? Uh, it's 2d6 uh, plus Look cool. cool. Yeah. Okay, so it's zero. Okay. I got an eight. What a cool guy. Okay. Uh, so I think usually we would resolve the help first if something happens. Uh, and so you go. And that is the sign for attack. Uh, the bird kind of like swoops down, trying to like use some of its other senses instead of its sight. Um, it like Alexi, what are you doing now that you're like on the floor? You know that you were dropped. You don't know a thousand percent if it like the uh, thing ran away or if it's still there. All right, yeah, sorry, uh, Merv. Okay. <laughs> um, like. You're free for the moment, and you're like discombobulated. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how do you think you would be like acting right now? Um, honestly, I think Mervin try like he doesn't know which direction. He, he kind of knows which direction he's been pulled, but at this point, like he's just been trying to like hunch over, okay. like on the ground, just be like, okay, like trying to protect himself, like his vitals, as much as possible. So you like. You're you're being dragged backwards, so you like you have to like move yourself forward and like throw and yourself. And just like, move around. away from the direction that like I was being dragged, but like just like crawling forward. <laughs> so you're crawling, and the bird like 
hears Alexi like running at something. <laughs> so it like <laughs> dives forward and it starts just like attacking you. You take one damage from this thing. No, and like, oh, damn it. oh shit. But there's like <laughs> the, the fluttering. There's like you making a bunch of sounds. So Alexi, you like definitely know exactly where uh, Mervin is right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oops. Uh, what was your your role was um, act under pressure? So Mine. yeah, you make it like right to him, and you can kind of like do whatever you want in the moment. Okay, You're, like so, yeah. yeah, you you know where he is. Yeah, I quickly get to him, like jump back up to like onto my feet, and I grab him or whatever part I grab because I can't <laughs> still can't leg. see, and I just try and like pull like throw him back the direction that I came. Uh, to like get him up on his feet, hopefully. Um, but it's it's all in the chaos, so I'm just like, my yeah! friends, we do not have time to waste here. Let me get this straight. I I have no sight, no sound. <laughs> they there is someone like there's certain something like picking at me like a sharp thing, and then something trying to yank me away. Yep. I'm just flailing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, so he like definitely makes it much harder on you um like you're like actively fighting back i would assume of like yeah i'm trying to like end off like whatever's like stabbing at me in the darkness (laughs) and something pulling me i think i'm trying to get that off too (laughs) it's a thing coming back to get me uh so i'll throw it to uh i'll throw it to ed sheeran do I Ed, realize like, I got the wrong person? Well, I mean, like you hear commotion. It, it might all, it might sound like they're all engaged with the same. I just I don't think uh, that's the sound the ghostly thingy would make. No. Um, <laughs> I I uh, cuckoo uh, to make it stop. I guess more uh, death. No, not more death. <laughs> I I cock. Coco or something. I don't know. I changed it back. Coco. Try to make a not attack anymore. Um, it backs up. It didn't work as planned. This is the, the, the second thing I tried to do that doesn't go quite like I wished. Um, I I just try to go in the same place because I don't want to be all alone uh, by myself. Uh, because I am a coward, and that's why I keep running. So I'm going to coward back to my teammates, even though the thing might be there. But you know, it's three versus one instead of a one v one. Uh, I'll take the number game. Okay. <laughs> and like, you like, do you crawl forward, or are you just walking? I I just like I uh, quickly uh, pace towards them. <laughs> crawl around like like when you stole something. <laughs> Yeah. there's still a decent amount of noise coming from like the tussling maybe Mervin's like not qu- as quite as agitated now that he's not getting pecked and he's just getting like pulled uh, but it's still making noise and shuffling around so mm-hmm. you kind of like smack in not super hard but you smack into Alexi uh, and you like bump kind of into him and uh, you're all back together still oh, excuse me Sorry, I just, I, I didn't really want to be all the way careful, there. Careful, careful, Mervyn, he's doing things. I, 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 I think it's my fault. Sorry, Mervyn. I, I didn't mean to. I kind of uh, thought this would go different. Why? I'll, I'll, I'll buy you some medicine after. <laughs> Why? Settle down, Actually, I Mervyn. can make it. <laughs> but I, I don't like, know where the thing is. Your ears, like, start to, like, one of, like, the ear that wasn't as close, like, Gets a lot of back <laughs> after. <laughs> Alexi, Ed, Mervin, where Ed. are you? I am right here. I'm holding right you. Right here too. What was stabbing me? I do not uh, know. I, here, it's right next to me. I, I'm sorry. It was, it, it was my bird. I'm sorry, man. I I'm messed up. Chicken for dinner. No, <laughs> don't harm him, please. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to give you ointment, man. I'll give you the best shit. The best thing I got. Why didn't no one light the light? The lantern's right there. I don't have anything on me. I gave you all matches and candles. Oh but in the moment you were being taken away. Eh? I, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, do we still have... I appreciate uh... the, the help. I can <laughs> I'll go get the lamp and I'll light it. <laughs> uh, so it I'm was so like sorry. someone who has a candle, uh, I guess... Uh, either of you, yeah. Uh, you have to light it up. It's gonna take you a little while to find it. Like it got like kicked around in the tussle and like mm -hmm. in the commotion uh, mm -hmm. in response to one of your failures. So it kind of got like lost. Uh, but now that like, and you notice, well, you, you don't know where the thing is. Are you staying in the area uh, and just looking for the lantern, like taking time, or like how are you gonna respond to this momentary kind of like? stand still where you're not getting attacked but you don't know for sure that this thing is in right behind. Mervin personally thinks the light's important so he's going to be looking for that light okay so as you're like looking for it and it's taking a little longer than you thought you notice that like the thread that you're assuming is there isn't doing anything if it is there uh and, you know takes a few more minutes maybe uh or somebody else takes out a candle and helps you out and you eventually find your lantern, you find your flashlight, if that also maybe got like pushed out of your pocket while you're being dragged. Uh, you have all your stuff again, and, and as lights turn back on on all of your candles and lanterns, there's no hand, there's no morbling darkness. You're just back in this kind of mid area um, with your light again. Um, and we will push back to the gumshoe. Um, we get to the door of old man Grayson. Uh, how do you approach his abode? Uh, you, you know, I'll do... <laughs> okay. I'll grab, like, some bushes. And, like, mm -hmm. make, like, a moving bush. And try, like get up close cart real cartoonish mm -hmm. now like <laughs> actually i'll cover my trench coat with like bushes and shrubs there you go <laughs> try to go that way and kind of sneak up to the window if there's a window try to yep. peek in you have like... light on you yeah i had I had my my lantern so you're trying to sneak in complete darkness <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> it's all performative really it's like when you're pretending to be like a like you're sneaking out and you're like no one's watching but you're like sneaking and stuff like <laughs> perfect sneaking pose. yeah I like, I like stop look left and right <laughs> try like cover the light can't see <laughs> shit <laughs> you get up to the windows would you bring your light source doors on the case <laughs> <laughs> would you bring it up to like look inside or are you literally just like trying to look in to complete darkness uh, I, th I think I have that much tact. Well, I, well, it, can I see without pulling no, the light up? No, no eh? Okay, so then, yeah, I, I pretty much resort to uh, raising the light. So you bring it up, and, like, you know, some of it, like, there's a little bit of, like, whatever, like, glare on the window from the light being, like, right there. Maybe you, like, lift it up so it's not directly in front of you. Seems like no one's home. Uh, no sign of disturbance right away. Uh, but as you like kind of scan it a little bit, it doesn't reach all the corners of the house, uh, but it doesn't look like anyone's home. The, the bed is like still made. Uh, there's no like dishes out or cups or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's been home for a little bit. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, hmm. I'll be like, all right, it shouldn't be a problem for a second. And I'll like take off the light and then uh, try and go in the house. Uh, if you were to go to the front door, you'd see that it's locked, which isn't like the weirdest thing, but it's also not the most normal in this town you've seen. Like people kind of just leave their doors unlocked, um, you know, so... It's not like, oh, it's locked. But it is a little bit of like, hmm, this was a decision to lock the door that not everybody is making in this town. Can I try and uh, pick the lock, maybe? I don't have a skill that could do that. but 
Uh, I say you can. You uh, have it done. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want to try and do it in a way that's not just like brute force. Yeah, yeah. Want to, you know, uh, want to be sneaky. Uh, you can probably sp- try and like pull the door. Like, it's not the best constructed and like push it away from the the frame enough where you can like yank on it and it just opens. I don't remember which door I've gotten into like that one. So it was like a really like shitty, like everything's made of wood. So you kind of just like pull and like the latch like comes just out and you just push it and it, it opens. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> uh, but that's going to take a little bit of like, you know, it's not just like kicking it in or shouldering it. It's like a little more precise. Uh, so go ahead and act under pressure. As Shy would say, under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, under pressure. I am not cool <laughs> at all. I'm a nervous wreck. I, I haven't had enough hot brown to break in. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh... Okay, uh, that's that's five. That's five. A five is five. Add XP. Oh uh, yeah, baby. So mark that experience. Um, where is your where's your lantern at this point? Um, I'd say it's like uh, like on the floor next to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so you are like concentrating on like this weird like motion of like trying to like sort of brute force a door open without breaking anything, uh, essentially. Um, and you start to hear this like this voice it doesn't have any like characteristics like it doesn't like sound like anything because it's in your head but it's like speaking words to you uh so i'm gonna ask you to take out those 2d6 oh no uh and just roll a little uh let me see uh a plus cool roll Oh no. <laughs> uh, as these like suggestions and and, and these words they're oh, being what the fuck? that's the Wait, same I... thing. Uh, a five again. Okay. I mean hey, literally, that's another experience for you. Literally he one same speak. two <laughs> a five and a one, but again a minus <laughs> one. Well, I mean maybe they want to be in dice jail, who knows? But uh... they do. It sounds like they do. <laughs> Terrible children. Uh, we see, uh, but nobody else does. The light in your eyes kind of go out. This kind of like determination that you have in your face suddenly just drops. So it's like a stoic look. And everything goes black for you. What you don't see is that the light is still on next to you and that you should be able to see the door and you know you're just kind of standing right there in front of it and then you pick up the light and we see you start to walk the other way uh not down the cobblestone road but towards the forest um as something has taken over you uh, and it it does this light the lantern uh no like the lantern was already was already lit uh, everything okay. just goes dark for you, but as we like pull out, we see you start to do things. Uh, but you have like no recollection of it. You have, there's no like intention behind it because you just kind of like pass out, uh, oh, and something okay. else takes over. Oh. Oh. All right, <laughs> <laughs> going for a ride. Uh, what is kind of like? I guess there's this like weird moment of like being. You know, you weren't instantly killed. Uh, you're not quite asleep, but like you know, you're in limbo and in, in your own body. Uh, so let's go and think of an interaction that you might have had uh, with Ed. Ooh. Ooh. Well, what's uh, what, what's what's your shtick? What's my stick? Okay, yeah, so what's let what's me what's tell you what my stick is. Um, I am a dude. That sounds around 18 years old. Uh, cross-playing 
as a grandma to hide my identity because I come from a different world <laughs> and I'm being hunted. Um, but you don't know what they look like because I'm wearing that mask nonstop. I have a mask literally made out of wood that looks like a grandma face um, to hide my identity. Uh, and yeah, so sometimes you might hear me uh, talk like a grandma. And sometimes I will be crouching, you know, like my shoulders are going to be all the way uh, turned. So I look like, you know, hunched and everything and all. Yeah. And other times I look perfectly normal. And it's, it depends on how, uh, sur how surrounded we are. Who are the people around us? Okay. There you go. Okay, uh, I think I would put you remind me of a former partner who was mysteriously mm -hmm. killed. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's an unsolved case. So it was my first case, actually. Oh, um, where, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was the first case about, like, uh, I'm gonna say, um, like, uh, like like an artifact, like like people who wanted to steal some stuff from like a museum, or something. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was one of my first partner that wasn't uh, one of my siblings, and we actually got pretty close, but it went like bad. Uh, mm. when we, uh, like caught up to them, and we thought we got away, and then like a few cases later, uh, my partner disappeared. No. Okay. Yeah. So I'm into kinda, the vibe. Yeah, you kind of remind me of that that old partner. She was okay. a gold grizzled cop, kind of. <laughs> uh, I do have something that maybe could work. Um, see, oh yeah, the hunter showed understanding when you were confused or overwhelmed. I imagine that because you have that like soft spots just because I remind you of that person that you might be more more gentle or, or curious or kind to that person in that regard so I felt understood by you you said it how it was I don't know something yeah, like yeah. that the truth even if it hurts that's <laughs> that <my motto>. exactly <laughs> exactly and somehow I, I respected that um uh and i guess confused maybe by just the world around me is still very foreign especially because i live in uh in the forest <laughs> so i don't really chill around people often so you might be like that that sort of guide for me maybe you give me the gossip that's what i mean <laughs> nice nice <laughs> i'm not exactly normal either so <laughs> there you go Gives Ed the goss. Wonderful. Uh, so I have one that's like we're on the same or rival bowling teams. That's freaking <laughs> hilarious. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> one of my history things is you are on the same or rival bowling team. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> and yet a bowling related disagreement. <laughs> The best yeah. thing. is bowling a thing in the early nineties. <laughs> lawn bowling, lawn bowling. is now. Uh, so speaking of lawns, we will go across the grass that's just between the houses and the forest uh, on this kind of outskirts, and we'll see you're walking at like kind of like an angle. So like that angle kind of will eventually lead to the group, uh, but it's a bit away. Um, so we can reconvene with you guys. You've got your you've got your lights back, like we said. Mm. Um, and I will say, uh, I mean, you seem to be kind of like on the lookout, Alexi. Maybe you're like in that mode of like using your senses uh, to kind of gauge what's happening. Uh, you will notice that there's like a bobbing light off in the distance. It's pretty faint from this distance, and it's not very strong because it is just like a, a lantern. Uh, but in the pitch blackness, like you can't really miss it. Mm. It's just this little like, and it hey. reminds you of like a like a fire, uh, right? They're called fireflies, I think. Yeah, yes. fireflies. 
So it kind of reminds you of like a, a, fi a firefly, which you do know uh, like to kind of like pass their way uh, along the river that is like behind you at this point, like way behind mm. you. Um, so it, it kind of does remind you of that. Interesting. Well, I'll just uh, quickly go, hey, look over there. I think there's someone else close by. Maybe it's old man Grayson. I think if we go and check, make sure they do, are not attacked, eh? Oh, yeah. that's why maybe he wasn't lighting the lamps? It's possible. Yeah, let's, let's definitely go check. All right. Uh, Mervin, you're like, I mean, you're the flake, right? Uh, like, what you're saying in character is like, it's all adding up, kind of. It's coming from the direction where his house would be. Yeah. And like, he does travel by, uh, by lantern. And he was said to be around the forest today. And so, like, you really do feel like you're on the right track with that. It's, it's got to be him. <laughs> let's, let's go. All right, hold on to my uh, my shirt. Eh? We don't want you going off again. I didn't do that on purpose. Someone was dragging me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And Ed, you can hold my hand if you'd like. Look. Look. <laughs> Is there like actually like a mark where I was like grabbed? Uh, if you want to like feel into your shoulder, not yeah. like maybe when you press into the skin, it like hurts, but there's not really anything. Is there like a bruise if I pull like the shirt? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See? Um, actually, can I can I look at that? Um, I have a move that's called traditional remedies where I can treat injuries without any need for modern medical supplies. Um, this can stabilize a hunter or heal one harm. Dealing with poison, infection, or disease might need me to track down for some specific healing herbs, but I have done some some herb restock. Yeah, you were foraging just before, very true. Okay, uh, is that... That's not a roll, right? I would assume. No, it, it doesn't tell me to roll okay. for it. So okay. just, I choose between stabilizing or healing one heart. Uh, I'm going to have like some paste ointment, something like just herbs ground up, mixed around that I pre-made. and like Chew it in your mouth. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> sure, of course, yes. But the you bird. can't see it because it's under the mask, so you can't see anything. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm very, yeah, I'm very like sneaky. Coming <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> through like the holes in the mask. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I slap it on. Uh, um, well, not slap it forcefully, but just like pat it down onto I'd your much rather injuries. Use that on the actual like cuts, your bird did. Uh, yeah, show you my arms and just like cuts all over. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I have enough for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, don't, don't, don't worry. It's going to heal in like two days. Yeah, you might have some scars, though, but you can say it's like battle scars, so it's going to look cool. It would have healed normally in two days. <laughs> Just like... Now I'll put your spit all over <laughs> No, 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 trust. It would have gotten infected. But if Mervyn does not want it, you could put it on my back instead. Right. <laughs> I, I already used it all, actually. <laughs> Here, take it. <laughs> go scrape it up. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, uh, we, we. I guess now we can go back to heading towards the mysterious person. Restoration. What's your What's your piece? Um, risk and and. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I'm Speed gonna luck. follow in my mom's um, ointment that she made. Uh, dandelions, actually, <laughs> dandelions with um, then lavender oil, some other sort of oils that are all good anti-inflammatory and whatever, whatever the jazz, you know. <laughs> it's just jazz. Yes. And and your spit. And your spit. And spit yeah. Of course, of course. That's, That's the, the lubricant of it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Natural healing power. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like you're going at a like you know a decent pace and maybe like it picks up a little as you get closer because you're like oh it's right Mervin's there. going Mervin's going <laughs> leading the pack uh you're all on a little bit of high alert now uh and again there's no like 
you 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 feel like at least one of you would notice if there was like a hand that comes to appear mm-hmm. in the shadows or something. So far, so good. Uh, and as you get closer to what seems like Mr. Grayson, he, he stops uh, and he looks to like go and lift up his lantern. Uh, and as your hand is up in the air, you come back to your body and like kind of like look up and you see that like your arm was raised as if to maybe drop or throw down this lantern. But you were able to like come back into your body before it happened. I, I, I like take my flask out of my coat, look at it, <laughs> drink some more. <laughs> like this is good stuff. <laughs> back. <laughs> and Who's there? Walk towards the people. Look into. Yeah, I'm mean, like Grayson. Is that you? Oh. Grayson, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Have like a Spider-Man moment. Hey, you're. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh, you're that. Uh, you're that kid. You. <laughs> and <laughs> we stop it right there. And let's let's make your history together. <laughs> oh God, I really wish it was a modern setting just for the bowling thing. Do the bowling. <laughs> Do it the bowling. Lawn bowling. It Do lawn it, please. Bowling. Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have one that says members of the same support group, and the support <gasps> group goes bowling. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> For people who get way too angry over lawn bowling. <laughs> God damn it, my throw was supposed to go. The nut of grass, I'm telling you, is in the way. Hey, you're that cheater. Hey. <laughs> hey. Don't call me a cheater, cheater. Well, listen, your arm past the regulated length that you're allowed to throw. I remember. I, Look, I, I, I you waited your ball. Down. Your ball was <laughs> under regulation weight. Look at the size of my arms. I use a specific ball, you know. There's nothing. There's no rule against weight. You're making that up. Look, don't, uh, your arms too long. Okay. <laughs> Elbow. Okay. Elbow. I added momentum. <laughs> Pick my lantern back up. What are What are you doing here? Well, I look well, over. I'm nice. like, oh. I, I, yeah, 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 there's no bowling here. I'm not supposed to see you for another week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for something important. Yeah, yeah. Old man Grayson's missing. I came to go. Fi- came to find him. You're coming from the direction of his house. Did you see him? Great. Right. Well, oh, wait. I was at his house. It. Uh, I was at his house. Cheater oh. turned kidnapper? No, no, no. And I'll like kind of look through my recordings to see if I made any extra ones. And I guess I only find the one. The yeah. Just uh, the one. Uh, it, this is a conundrum and a half. This is our, our feud will have to go on hold for a second. I, I, I I never blacked out that bad. On drinking binge again. It's... Save that for the lawn bowling. It makes you a better player. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm well, take another sip. Sweet. Oh. Okay, this is this is PI Gore. I know. I've met him before. We've never Likewise. met him in our lives, sir. No, but you would not one... remember you were drunk out of your mind, eh? I like ignore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and shake uh, Sharon's hand. It's nice Big to see one. you again, partner. Of course, uh, you've always called me that. It actually yeah. is quite nice. Um, yeah, term we're, of endearment. We we were actually wait. You said you were at the house. Do you remember what happened before you got here when you were at the house? Like <laughs> go in my bag oh, again. Does not check remember my anything notebook. clearly. No. Uh, where's that? The oh. sound is coming. The living the room. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Sorry, someone's car just randomly started honking. <laughs> it's a loud donkey. <laughs> I know. 
um, but yeah, do you anything like what happened when you were there? <laughs> Flip through my notebook. Uh, I don't know. I looked inside. Nobody was home. The last thing I remember was trying to break in. Uh, and I like oh. turned to Alex, uh, Alexi and be like, I don't remember you at all and never met you a day in my life. You don't remember anything clearly. <laughs> you do remember as you're saying this, Pigor or Piagor? Um, you remember you were going to see your mom in the forest. Uh oh. But then, like, obviously, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But as you're like recollecting what happened, you left his house to go see your mother in the forest. Mom. But she doesn't live in the forest. I don't have a mother. Uh. Excuse me, huh? Wait, I, I, nothing. Yeah, I did. yeah, maybe my uh, maybe I need to quit the drinking. <laughs> yeah, look around for a cigarette. <laughs> Light me in the lantern. Yeah, a break from drinking. Well, I I I think we need to go back and figure out what happened. Well, I guess we could tell you what we found so far even though it's a bit confusing uh, uh, hold on and i'll like grab another roll uh, <laughs> load it into the thing i'd be like give it to him i'll be like talk into this tell me what happened all right where do we begin guys uh uh we were we'll looking walk and talk uh, yeah yeah that's good work actually <laughs> And we just tell them everything. <laughs> <laughs> and that's everything. <laughs> um, uh, is there anything like you would have specifically asked to elaborate on? Uh, or like, you know, because you weren't here last time, is there anything that's kind mm -hmm. of missing uh, for in your head, Shitty? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um... Yeah, you, you pretty much got the same rundown of like the initial stuff and then what happened is what you were listening to earlier. Um, as a gum shoe, uh, I want to give you something here. Uh, collecting information is kind of your thing. Uh, I'm going to let you ask. I'm going to use, use your occult Confidential. Um, oh, my pigeon finds me. <laughs> no, uh, not the naked city there. Not yet. Uh, the first time in each mystery that you observe a monster minion or phenomenon in action, you may ask one question from the oh. investigative mystery list. Baby. And you're getting the rundown, and you did just like you were in the middle of a, a strange, uh, yeah, a cultish encounter. So I'll let you ask a question. Ah, nice. Uh, yeah, I guess it'll be what sort of creature is it? Because it sounds like it's something weird. Oh, yeah. well, we would have mentioned the fact, the thing that we found was a reaper, I believe. So, yeah. just in case that kind of... Okay, so I know answers what your it question is. question makes you want to use another? Like the re um, like reaper in the sense of like, in, I don't, I can't think of any like specific movies or anything, but like you kind of like see death before you get killed, but yeah. you can't necessarily like do anything about it. And if you like try and shine a light on whatever you saw, it's not there anymore. And then like the lights go out and you're you're taken away into the abyss. Uh, uh, and, and this question is like a question to the keeper, right? Yeah. Um, I guess it would be, uh, I, and I know what could hurt it, light. Uh, from what you can tell, actually, like they shut, they 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 stopped it with light. It didn't seem to take like it stopped moving and it started to like process the light and do something with it as it was like standing there. But it didn't like die. It didn't seem to get any weaker. In fact, it like became more physical uh, when like the okay, direct. Light. Yeah, so I think that would be it. Uh, just like thinking about listening to the recording back. Uh, once uh yeah it would be what could hurt it okay uh let's see in your experience and with everything that you've heard so far 
there's definitely interactions with light, whether it's it's directly hurting it or it is making it so that it can be directly hurt is not you're not really sure yet because uh, you're encountering a couple different things. A reaper doesn't seem like something that takes control of someone's mind and makes it do things. So, I mean, for free, you know that like there's more than one kind of creature out here. Uh, but you do know that like they've been interacting with light and the fact that this weirdly like this thing that could like not exist and exist was suddenly like becoming more physical. Uh, you think that like getting it trapped in light will, if not hurt it, make it like a physical thing that then you can use other things to hit it with. Um, okay. uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, and you know that like things that cause damage while also making light uh, are usually pretty effective in these scenarios. Like so, some sort of torch. Or yeah. Anything. Like if you can get like if the light source is like stuck to it also and like burning away at it and creating light and creating more light as it's like burning things up. That seems to be uh, a pretty common like uh, thing that you would use to combat creatures who interact with light in weird ways. Okay, okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so to me it sounds like, all right, whatever this creature is, it seems like we need to douse it and light it aflame. So where can we get some oils or flammable something? Because <laughs> I could put them on my bolts and then I can shoot them and it could be kind of cool, but <laughs> I don't I really have the material. oil back at my place. All right. I mean, I'm smelling oil on the stuff you spit on me. I mean, I yeah, but this is the good stuff, you know? <laughs> I don't want to use my good stuff. Okay, so saving the, the village isn't good enough? Okay. Ooh, when you put it like that. Oh. Hey, cut the kid some slack. <laughs> you know? What do you mean? Special things need to be waiting for you special see the moments. face? The face is an old granny. <laughs> yeah, but... Indeed. <laughs> As I remember to put on the voice. <laughs> I've been around the block a few times, and I, I, I know a young spirit when I feel one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm we... still a child at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Just what my partner used to say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, brings me back. Now, uh, I, Did I get guess back to the house yet? <laughs> yeah. Now that the interaction is done, uh, you yeah you arrive at the front door. Same situation as before. The door is locked. No one seems to be home, and it seems to be pretty well. No one seems to be like dragged out or leaving in a hurry. Last I remember, I was trying to break it. I will check it out. It seems. So who's who's going to the door first? Alexa, I'll go to the door. All right. Uh, as a monstrous, uh, I'll say that like you can just kind of push <laughs> the door in, and like it makes some noise, and there's some cracks, and like you know, there's some bent metal, yeah. but. Uh, well, he said no one was home, right? So I'll just like yeah. keep the door open. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> could, could I do like a, a once around the perimeter quick before I go yes. in with them? Uh, let's follow that first. Uh, is there a move? I feel like there should be a move. Investigate uh, mystery. Or uh, read a bad situation. Do you want to use. Bad. I mean, you're not. We are in the forest. You're not double talking, but I don't know how how much that's going to come into play in this one shot. Uh, but you are trying to get into a secure location, so if you want to like cover up the tracks in some way as you're going around, I can give you that option, or you can try and ask a question. Oh, like you find something or blah blah. blah. Like one of these options, if they look good to you, you, you can try to roll for that, uh, or if you just want to roll to investigate or read a bad situation. This is like oh. you know. This is your this is your time to shine. So. Oh, uh, I I guess 
it would be read a bad situation because we're, we're not necessarily trying to sneak or cover up ourselves right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're too large of a group to kind of be like sneaking like that. So it's kind of like I, I figure I'll talk my way out of it. So, yeah, it's really it's really more to just yeah read a bad situation, assess, make sure we're safe while we go in. No one's following us or. Yeah. Uh. Read it, my Read that situation. 2d6 plus T. Oh, God. Uh, eight. Eight, okay. Not bad. Uh, Just. One hold. Just one. Just uno. <laughs> uh, read a bad situation. I don't know where you at. Uh... Oh, here we go. I'll hold one. Mm -hmm. It will definitely be... Oh, are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Okay. Uh, you're looking around. You're giving it the once over. You see the bush that you like destroy to make your, your cover <laughs> and some of it's probably still on you uh, old faith <laughs> yeah. um and you notice um like kind of surveying the in surveying the area you're also like taking in stuff that's further away um far 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 down the road and like i said it's pitch black so light sources aren't necessarily like Soup, you can't see them super well, but you can see some of the light that they're giving off. Uh, you see a bunch of like little lights um, bobbing together uh, off near the city, kind of like center, the town center. You think that people have met up? You heard the word like mob when uh, Chris. Uh, Chris was talking to you. So you think that people might be trying to also like get a hold on the situation. Um, but just like regular townsfolk, mostly like the council, other than Chris is like a farmer, uh, a priest, uh, who else is there? Uh, a teacher, uh, and Grayson Fielding himself, an old man. Lenore. So they're not, they're not really well equipped to deal with this kind of thing. And now that you know more about it, like they're not necessarily going to know how to deal with it. And so I'll say that right now, the danger you haven't noticed is that like, there's a whole town full of people who are oh, who could on the be other in side trouble. that, yeah, might be getting themselves into trouble oh. without any of you nearby because otherwise than that, like it seems pretty safe and quiet around this end, which is weird in and of itself. Okay. All right. So take note of that and uh walk inside uh, i will i will remind myself while reminding you while pretending like i knew the whole time uh you get plus one ongoing when you're acting on information that you're getting uh i don't know if it would have came into play yet but i thought that that was only with stuff for my code no i uh, read a bad situation if you act on answers you get plus one ongoing Oh, okay, all the sweet. information is relevant. Sweet. Uh, well, I don't think it would like it would have affected anything too much. So, but going right. forward, mm -hmm. oh, that's for everyone. Uh, yeah, that's like okay. part of the move. Part of the move. Uh, so yeah, you're yeah, like you're going around. The, like you cased the joint. No one's around here. No, there's no sign of of like blood or like feet being dragged or any sort of damage. But then you realize like that stuff might be happening all the way over there. Uh, and then we'll go inside the house. Uh, it's a little, it's a little creepy in here, Alexi mm. and gang. You have your lantern and your candles out, and it's like casting shadows, and like light is overlapping in certain areas that are really bright, and then there's pockets of, of darkness, and you guys are trying to adjust the light to give you enough light so you feel safe, but you know that, you know, these lights can go out in like the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. um, and you're in this house that you don't know much about, but it's like eerily like unlived in. 
everything is super tidy. There's no dishes out, like I said. There's no crumbs out even. Um, there's like closed drawers and stuff. So not everything is out in the open, but like upon first viewing, it kind of just seems like a like a home that someone might walk into to like sell a house that looks like it down the street, like a like a model. Or like a demo. Oh yeah. Gosh. I'm gonna start opening doors. Yeah. There must be some oil around here. He was a lamplighter after all. Perfect. Uh, let's take out some 2d6. Uh, this is a this is an investigation for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of you can roll investigate. One of you can help out if it's going to be helpful. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. What is it? Am I there yet? I think the Does detective could be very good at that. Uh, I'll say, like, for, like this, for this Mervin instance, also. <laughs> no. Um, but depending on what happens, maybe you can come in and then you can roll after. Okay, sweet. Uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. While I'm casing the joint. While you're casing the joint. <laughs> I'm just going to German shepherd around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll just light. Uh, does does Grayson have any candles in his house? Uh, if you're going like you're going through some drawers and you're looking for them, uh, I mean I'll say like yes. Uh, do I want to give that to you right away? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is the the town's lamp lighter. Yes. <laughs> he needs to have some that sort is, of that is a incredible point. Yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. definitely gear or something around. <laughs> There's like an entire yeah. There's like it's not it's not like you can tell that it's like they're all kept in a box uh -huh. that are like there's a box underneath another box that are stacked and they're packed like in uh, vertically okay. uh, pretty tightly. And so you tell that like he regularly restocks them with the uh, with the general store there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you can like basically an unlimited amount of candles if you want <laughs> to grab as many as you can. Yeah, I'll pocket a few, but I, it was more just to like really brighten up the inside of this yeah. place. Okay. Yeah. So you can take some time and like mm -hmm. set up a couple, hold a couple. Um, did you roll already, Mervin? Yeah. What did you, what did you get? Uh oh. Roll a ten plus two. Oh, oh, that sounded like a bad roll. Yeah, yeah. The suspense. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Uh, that is. Uh, that's only two. So we're doing investigate a mystery, correct? Yes. All righty. So investigate a mystery. We got. Yay! Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right, so what happened here? Like, what's what's up with this house? Yes. Why does it look so clean? Um, Why is it not lived in? You know those, like, the smells that were kind of coming off of uh, uh, Ed's mouth, maybe? Like, you recognize some of them with, like, cl like cleansing properties or whatever. Like, if there's, like, lemon or something in there, lemongrass. Uh, you smell that like coming off of the countertops and like the floors and stuff. It looks like this place has like recently been cleaned. Like it has been lived in, and then very recently everything was kind of like wiped clean. Um, so that's like the first thing that you kind of notice. Um, and you open up a lot of the drawers, and a lot of them are just like empty maybe there's like a coin in the corner of one and like a button and some thread you know like stuff that kind of stuck to the end that he didn't see when he was cleaning up you assume it was him um and there's not too much and then like at the bottom drawer it kind of like it doesn't open hey uh, uh, alexi i need your help all right quick what is it open this door please um yeah, can I kick the drawer's ass? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to roll oh. to kick a drawer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, kick his ass, Brad. You can even like you can like grab onto the handles and just rip the like front part of the drawer off. Okay. So even though like the hinges or whatever, the mechanism is like stuck, <laughs> there's no front to the drawer anymore. Mm -hmm. You can kind of reach in. <laughs> uh and this is weird like tome almost. Um it's like a book that also has loose pages stuffed 
into it. Uh, and like you pull out the first one and maybe Alexi, you're there and like you help shine a light mm -hmm. on it to see it better. And it's definitely like charcoal on paper that's been like just like really, really, really like harshly in some points, but then lighter. Like it almost looks like he just did that with no care. Mm. Uh, but there's a lot of them that kind of like come out like that. And they all look a little different. And maybe like you pull out like two and they kind of like look like they can go together. Almost mm. like pieces of a puzzle. Um, what would you do? This is still like your question isn't quite answered, but like you've seen this. So what would you do, Mervin, in this moment? I would start like pinning them up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll even say you probably have like a, a quick stash of like thumbtacks or whatever. I'll take out things in like from his drawer. Like I'll take like a fork and just like jam it into one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you you take some time doing this, and I think at that point maybe uh, the gumshoe pi gore comes in, uh, and you're putting them together. Uh, what's the question exactly? Is what what happened here? What happened here? Yeah. But I have a token as well that I would use for what is being concealed in the book, I suppose. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll honor your first question just in case. Um, and so you pull them out and you place them up. It takes a little while. Uh, Alexi, do you, do you help them? Like maybe like. <laughs> no. <stuff> or... <laughs> I'm just sort of standing, like watching him, like. <laughs> and then this one goes here, and then uh, okay, this one maybe goes oh, there, come around here. There must be logic to his madness. It's okay. And it's this like oh, it's quite entertaining. It all comes together, and it still doesn't like give like a very very clear image, but it's something. And you see that like the places that the charcoal is is very lightly pressed or not pressed at all seems to give the indication of like light versus darkness where the charcoal is like really dark. Um, and it's this creature almost that it's like huge. Like you see some, some like lines that are drawn up like that, that you assume are, are trees. And this thing is like bigger than some of these trees and it's wide and it's got like these weird bumps all over it. Uh, almost like oh, I don't even know, like uh, oh, what is that called? Fuck, like maybe like a you know, like spiders hatch. I think there's like a bunch of like little eggs, a cluster, Ugh. yeah. So it's like a cluster of like these round shapes that are like made of darkness and of light. Uh, oh. and he just writes the word mother you see that like a lot of like the charcoal now is like actually just like the word mother written on top of each other in different directions uh, to mother. make up some of this shape mother. and I, yeah immediately i i i thought i was going to mother right mm -hmm. um, mother nature <laughs> i don't think I mean, that's mother nature <laughs> The, the, it's more vicious than we think, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, hmm. Can I investigate a mystery now to kind of piece it together? Yeah, I well, we'll let you still hold the other two for this right moment, uh, Mervin. But what happened here from this, you think, is that like this mother thing is a very important figure, obviously. It's like he dedicated a lot of time to like well, making only this. Two, right? So I asked, asked oh. one. So this is the second. Um, uh, and it seems that like everything was taken clean and like maybe this was like more hastily put away. Like the last thing that he did was get rid of this drawing before he left. And so you would imagine that he probably left for a reason that's associated with this mother creature uh, with the trees all around you assume that it's somewhere in the forest or near the forest. And so what happened here is that maybe he just cleaned up everything and, and took off. Uh, but we will go to the gumshoe. Let him uh, ask his own questions, depending. Uh, what did you want to follow up anything first? Well, I mean, I have my next question, but I mean, go for it. 
uh, like just in case it changes, or do you want to ask? Because I could I could go off what you ask next too. Yeah, it depends who wants to well, I was... reveal information so that the next person can reveal more information. It depends yeah. on what you want. I was just like, what was it like? What was it going to do? Like, what what is its I guess goal? I don't know. Um, what is the what is it going to do? What is this kind of like? It's sure there's a picture of it kind of like encompassing the forest, but mm-hmm. uh, what, what's it yeah, gonna good, do? Good question. Yeah, yeah. There out of go. this, uh, out it's of this book, like a shoot. <laughs> one of the pages that like didn't quite go, or like some of like some of the pages came out and they didn't quite go with this thing, so those are like scattered on the floor, and you pick up one of the maybe like uh, Ed is like stepping on it. And you didn't quite notice it, and then like Ed moves over, and you pick it up, and it has a bunch of names on it. Um, the first names you don't quite know most of them, but you notice that like all of the last names belong to people that you know. You see like McDonald, which is the family uh, where the mom and dad are both like blacksmiths. Or the Robins, who's like at the dad is a carpenter, uh, or the Wigrooms, uh, which the mom is the cobbler. Like it's all their names, but it's not their first names. Um, it's the children. Yep. Gotcha. And you remember that all the children were kind of like left you the, the parents almost left their kids in the houses like instantly uh you did get them to go back uh uh for the moment that you were there you don't know what's happening now obviously no. but children uh, guys look at this it's uh it's a list of all the children in the village and what well, sorry what quickly it doesn't look like they were all written at the same time like this is like an old piece of paper that has like been kept records. But some of names are like more faded than others. Yeah, they've been keeping track of the children for for a while. It seems. Why would they do that? I don't know, but it seems important. Maybe mm. we should make sure that the children are kept an eye on. Did you see any when you went to the village? No, they were all at the house, but I don't know. The The parents seemed kind of riled up, and if, if it wasn't for me kind of like telling them to go back home, they, they were about to just leave their children by themselves. Uh, perhaps they might be in danger. There's also this giant book that has other things in it, but I haven't actually looked at it. I've just been making this puzzle. Hmm. So we have a list of names, a drawing of this creature that says Mother. I had a feeling of wanting to go back to Mother, and I don't have one. And I showed up in the forest on my way to you guys. I've, like, opened well, my flask now. On the way to the forest. Hmm. I was going there for a reason, but I can't remember. I'll, like, pass around my flask. <laughs> no? No? <laughs> Merci. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good bourbon. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I guess, yeah, yeah, could I roll to try and, like, piece it together mm-hmm. to get one more question? For sure. Uh, and I get an extra ongoing? Uh, cool. Yes, well, while you're acting on whatever information you learn. Okay. Uh, actually, before I say that it's set in stone, is that the same thing for? Uh, I don't see that in the game. No. No. no, no, it's not. It's not. Unfortunately. Ooh, baby. <laughs> That's thirteen. <Hey>. Yeah. <laughs> Morty. Morty. Oh my god, the rolls keep getting higher. All right, that's yeah, another yeah. two. So just just to recap, what two questions did you ask? Uh, uh, so I asked what happened here, mm-hmm. and then what was it going to do? Okay. So you know those two have been answered. Um, 
I guess it'll be what can it do? And I guess I know where it went. I guess I don't totally know where it went. You can also hold, like, if you're not, like, you don't want to waste it now. Uh, you can hold. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's start with what can it do? Or what can I surmise that it can do? So this book that you have found, this, like, kind of look like a tome. Um, you Like, you know what to kind of, like, look for. You know that there's probably more to this book than just this stuff that's, like, loosely been stuffed inside of it. Uh, and so you start to, like, thumb through it. Are you, like, also taking notes uh, on what you read? Or are you just... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it uh, on the recorder, Ooh, okay. like because uh, I, I prepared one before we came in. Yeah, you guys yeah. see him like whip out. Yeah. It is not this is not normal what he's whipping out right now. This like recording device, it's like clearly made by him or like somebody that he knows. You know, this wasn't like manufactured in any way. Uh, it has like this like little yeah, sounds like, coming out of it. Crank it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little record in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see you can maybe like flip back to the, the beginning of the book uh, and it's signed from uh, we'll say today's date is like September 21st uh, like 1894 uh, but the date on the page is September 21st 18 what's it like actually no it would have been like 17 94. This was early 19th century? Like today, like today's date. It's early 19th. Is, right? is late 19th century. Okay. Um, Hunters would have been like early 19th century. And this is eight, late 18th century entry in uh, in this journal. It's from the future. years prior. <laughs> it's from the future. <laughs> I love that you just... <laughs> um, and it's it's written and like you know that you know the handwriting of like a, a child. This looks like it was written by a child, um, and it says, "I don't know why I'm still alive. Why did they not take me? They took everyone else, but I'm still here. Nobody wants to." visit us anymore mom and dad said i should stay inside for a while but all my friends are oh. gone and there's nothing for me here so why did they leave me uh and there's a few entries like that if like you can tell there's like this guilt this like survivor's guilt from this kid um and he has a lot of questions about Know, why he was left and, and where did they go and you know i i thought i saw jimothy out in the tree lines but i can't go and find him it's too dangerous and then there's like older entries and more in the middle of the book i think they're i think they're gonna come back i had a dream last night and it was weird but it felt comforting like someone was going to come and, and and bring me home no one still really talks to me and it's 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 driving me crazy so maybe this is just that part of my brain talking but i, f I feel like if i just wait it out maybe the kids will come back and then like as the years go on, it gets like a little like crazier and like more repetitive, more repetitive of like, I still have to wait. I must wait. I must wait. I must wait. I must wait. And then like one of the later entries is just mother is finally yeah. ready. I have to make sure everything's in order. I've been keeping everything alight. But now it's time for the darkness to come. This journal has kept me from going completely mad. But I know that once the events are over, I can finally pass 
onto the other side and maybe someone can find this and maybe they can make sense of it. But for now, I, I have to do what mother tells me to do. Um, and so to go back to answer your question, uh, which I've completely forgotten. Um, uh, it was, what can it do? Yes. Um, so, you know, I, I'm giving you some snippets uh, here and there. Um, but one of the entries, uh, and a few of them kind of repeat the same thing of like, there was another kid born, has their name. And then you see that name like still written on the list. And then maybe another one's like crossed out, like, nope, she hasn't returned yet. It's too, now they're too old. Uh, he's keeping track of like the ages of the kids. Uh, and it's all for mother. Uh, to return and you know that the initially he was the only survivor left when all the kids were taken and so this thing this mother needs her children um and maybe it's like a whole cycle like it started back here on the same day a hundred years ago in this city and now it's the same day a hundred years later so and the kids are being kept track of and you see that mother is probably returned so I know maybe it's not necessarily according to the day, but it seems important that this thing can steal children. Yep. Um, okay. Now I'll kind of like stop the recording for a second after I stay that, uh, that entry and I'll be like, the, the village might not, the town might not be safe from whatever this is. Uh, it's, 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 the children save. Could I uh, be, use one of my holds from the beginning of the mystery? Yes. And connect the dots. And one of the questions is, what does the monster want from this person? So I'm gonna kind of to, like sculpt it and as what does this creature want from the children? Uh, I'm going to say like, I, like, uh, you know, you're talking to yourself in the microphone and you're saying like the important or microphone, uh, the important things that you're learning. And as you're like looking at the picture and you look more closely to these like shapes oh, that are being like made. Mervyn doing it and not PI, right? Yeah. Like PI is like talking and reading. <laughs> no, no, no. You, like you're just looking at the, the pages that are on the wall that you've pinned up as he's talking and like reading from the book. And you notice that, like, in these, like, orb shapes, there seem to be, like, outlines of, like, humanoid shapes. Uh, and so you think, and, like, you saw the other creature that was, like, taking light in and, like, rolling it around and then, like, some it going somewhere or, like, something happening to it. Yeah, like absorbing. Yeah. So you think it has that same absorbing properties, uh, but rather than just light, it's maybe taking something from these kids, processing it, and then like internalizing it. Okay, so not like these things are the children, but they're taking things from the children. Okay. Or perhaps they are like, you know, it's like it's like a messy kind of charcoal, but like you see the vague shape that looks humanoid-esque. And so, okay. uh, yeah, you think it needs to kind of, and it's like, you know, it's huge. And all of these things are, are each have this humanoid shape in them. And so you don't know what it would look like without them. So maybe it's like it draws power from them. And, you know, you don't, you basically don't want it to get to this state is like an immediate, like, oh shit, like this thing is what it looks like once it's absorbed all of these kids. And it's like this massive thing in the darkness. Uh, so you definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, and you, you had already asked a question previously. You know that there's like, there's light involved in this, especially with the tales of sunfall and of like, you know, the, the sun being, being sucked out of the sky and then all the light sources that you've had when you're outside just seem to like 
get robbed from where they are. There's some connection with like darkness and light and 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 change. Yeah, well, it's, it's it seems to be just absorbing energy, whether it's from light or from like creatures. It's energy. Okay. Is that a sufficient uh, yeah. dot connection? That's wonderful. Down. Taking something from the kids. It's feeding off them like it kind of fed off the light, I think. But we should definitely go warn the others to, to make sure that while well, the kids aren't taken and used for whatever this thing is. So I'll just like point at the image of like this big creature that's drawn on the on the mural of papers and I'll go and that is the thing that is stealing the children. Seems like it. Uh yeah. I'm gonna need my sword. And the oil. And some matches. Oh, I stock up and on all the matches possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's thinking, partner. <laughs> Grab the oil. I will be right back. Also, just want to see oh, Marvin. We're going towards the city center, anyways. Uh, Wanted to how... say... Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just want to confirm because I, mm. I just want to like swing by my place basically to grab my sword. Uh, your place... how out of the way is that? Uh, where's what's your destination afterwards? Is it back towards the city, or is it like back to where you were near the forest? Or is it somewhere else? I think we're we're going to the city, right? Yeah, so we're it's, one the village at least. Yeah, like, it's on the way. Watch out it's on the, the way. Shop. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so I I'll think just, even I, like I with your speed, time. you can just go ahead of them, go inside, and when you come out, they might like catch up with you and you just rejoin them. Yeah, perfect. So like as I'm saying that, I'm already walking out of the house. <laughs> Wait, I'm like grabbing the pictures. And <laughs> what, what are you saying, Sheer? I I wanted to say. Great deduction. It all makes sense now. I was constantly so bugged by this thing being so much more, and now, now it all adds up. Great work. Um, we should get to work now. And I love it when minds come together. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You take off, my friend Alexi. All alone. Uh, you got like a candle i would assume you know yeah, i don't I think you candle. all have lanterns, so you have your candle <laughs> <laughs> like trying Running not to, to have it blow out by like walking past them all the hairs in the back of your neck stand up and you realize that like you were in this extremely bright house that you had like you yourself had like lit a bunch of candles hmm. to help him see things but at the same time you were keeping the darkness away you were lighting up the dark spots in the house so that there was no kind of like shadows that were kind of watching you. And you only deduce that because now you feel as though like there are things hidden in the darkness that mm. are like watching you as you run. And all you have is this little candle in front of you <laughs> that goes right out. <laughs> well, shit. Um, on the path, like I know like I'm pretty familiar with the path, right? Mm -hmm. So even in the darkness, I'll just like rush forward, um, and I'll sort of just try and disregard the darkness, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, Full stride. <laughs> rely on your instincts. All fours. No one can um, see me, anyways. So. <laughs> so let's make that an beast mode under pressure you do feel like something is like following you yeah you know there is that aspect of it as well um so we can call it uh a oh, fuck i was gonna say rely on your skills and training <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> and act under pressure. pressure yeah, yeah. um uh, okay act under pressure yeah i just take off on all fours and i would like to uh, use my luck Okay. Uh, do you want to tell me how you become more monstrous in this scenario? Because you haven't really revealed anything about that. So I'll I have not. I, 
yeah, I think as like the hairs on the back of my neck start to stand up, um, I sort of like use that to like fuel myself with like animalistic senses. Uh, and like maybe like those hairs start to grow out a little bit more and uh, and like my arms get a little bit more jacked and my legs sort of swell up. Um, and I just sort of like dig my hands into the ground and I'm like lurching forward with all my strength to get there as quickly as possible. Can you see this at all? Oh no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like his candle went out, I think, yeah. uh, right before it happened. But yeah, it's I'm like, also doing this because like it's in like pure darkness and I know yeah. that like I could just let loose. It's like it's inhuman. Like it's like mm -hmm. someone likes certain parts of your body, it's like <sighs> someone's blowing air inside of it and they just like <sighs> start to swell up and the skin gets stretched and red <laughs> and like hairs are coming out of it um, <laughs> and i will say gum gum rocket gum gum balloon um do your you said your limbs get longer yeah, I imagine that uh, I'd probably increase in size a little bit. Okay. I'm not doing like a full, full transformation. Um, and I guess, well, this is a little bit strange because I'm just doing an act under pressure. I'm using mm -hmm. my luck, but does this count as like mechanically using my powers? Uh, it counts as the mo only the monstrous special that you have whenever you use your luck. Uh, ah. So something happens to your form. Okay, but it's um, interesting. Do you have another move that might? Yeah, so I have I have a. Oh, well, I'm acting under pressure, but technically, if I'm doing something with my powers, mm -hmm. I have to act under pressure again. Because uh, of certain something inside of me. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> if you are bound or surrounded by it, you must act yeah. under pressure to use your powers. No, actually, like the like the moonlight in here is like cut off. Okay. Uh, no it moonlight. looks like night and like yeah like okay all right sorry, sorry. Day, really but yeah there's like specifically no moonlight here mm -hmm. uh and so i'll say that like your range is extended uh, so if normally something would be like out of range where you would have to like leap mm. now you can kind of like lean forward and and, and swipe oh cool uh, if it comes up uh, from using this luck uh you do feel like these things like this kind of like uh, pressure comes into your head mm -hmm. uh, just before you change. Um, something like trying to get into your mind, but you don't even notice that's what it is because like you just instantly like transform a little bit. And in that you like, you just hunker down and like you're relying on your instincts. You're relying on like your monstrous form and you just push whatever that is right out of your head. Mm -hmm. You're like, smelling you can almost like see things around you as you're like taking in the smell of like cobblestone versus grass versus dirt versus wood and stone <laughs> and you make it to your front door <sighs> like a little bit like you know monster. yeah but you yeah, yeah i'm kind of like breathing super heavily and like i'm leaning against my door frame as i like push the door open i'm like it's just like drool kind of like dripping from my Whoa. mouth like I'm not really able to control it, and I'm just like ah, shaking it off and like pulling myself in, trying to like recollect myself in that moment. Amazing! You can like kind of reel it back in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you were looking for your sword. Can you My describe sword. it for us? Um, can I describe it with a like picture? another time? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right now. It's sheathed. It's sheathed. <laughs> It's sheathed, okay. and the sheath looks like really worn, like like Ooh. like really really old. Um, no. And the, <laughs> the, the handle it's of the not. sword, the handle of the sword is like um, like a metal that's like oxidized over like years, like maybe it's like discolored or something. Um, and I, I grab it and like maybe I hold it, and as I'm holding it, maybe like some of my monstrous like form subsides a little bit. Uh, and then I'll just like kind of fix it onto my belt. Um, and uh, I remember like, you know, the the darkness all surrounding me. So like, I'll get out of there, like lickety split, you know, meet back up with the others. What's the, like, what word would you use for like the emotion that you had just felt when you touched that? 
it's kind of i think it's a bit solemn but also like desperate um especially hearing all the information about the the strange like thing in the woods and the mother and the children being taken so it's bringing back like some memories mm -hmm. um it's not necessarily happy but it's all yeah it's a little bit it's a little bit desperate like like i need this i need this to help me and i will say out of the out of the canon i'm not going to say any, like anything to reveal anything mm -hmm. but whatever you're thinking it like you can you can have that what i i don't care what your what your page says like whatever that was you can have that instead of what you're supposed to have as the monstrous because that's too cool if, wait like, what do you, if mean? you want it like what like whatever sword you're imagining whatever uh -huh. that sword is like it can be that instead of whatever because you know like the different pages have like different swords yes that different things okay so if there's like something well else that you were thinking of it could just be that one okay well because i have i have an idea mechanic with the mechanic yeah, 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 yeah. to make this all make sense okay when it comes to you so maybe we could talk about it after or something yeah. but, but it's too yeah cool i do not, appreciate yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, is it does want. look well, it looks kind of old. It looks like a shitty sword, actually, when you just look at it. <laughs> but um, it has it holds like a very special purpose. Um, so, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, <laughs> you're gonna want to stay tuned for part three. Yeah, let me just say that, uh, and we'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to the group. I assume. I mean, you grabbed as much oil as you can carry grabbed as many candles and many matchsticks like you were like you made the most excellent point i'm glad you said it you're at the lamplighter's house making a fire making lighting candles getting it like that's not something i'm gonna make you like work for or only have one of like as much as you want it's not going to be an issue for me from this moment forward uh, whether or not having a bunch of oil on you might backfire who knows but... <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Light a> <laughs> Oh, could I actually prepare them before we head off? Cause like I prepare my bolts, I put cloth, I put oil. Oh yeah. You nice. know, uh, prepare them ahead of time. Nice. Have them ready. Making like uh, a Malta. Like Malta. <laughs> yeah, Malta. <Malta's. laughs> okay, awesome. By the arrows too, right? Like you like a little bit of like cloth that's been wrapped, yeah, that's a um... soaked in oil around the. Oh. So cool. That's it. And it's a crossbow, <laughs> so it's not as like like I think it would it would fly easier than the I hope. Bow and arrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, power. so you prepare that. Does anyone else have anything they like can prepare in that moment since I'm giving Ed some cigarettes? The opportunity? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's Thanks an old he's an old guy. He's 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 been known rolling to smoke. Some. Uh, I'm rolling I'm some tobacco, I got some. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Mervin, anything? Grab the pictures, grab the book, reload that one shot from my revolver. <laughs> and you all head out, going down the cobblestone road. You meet back up with the. Uh... Well, okay. I will say your limbs are still like longer, or maybe they're in like a transitory, I think, like state mm. where like. You can retract them a little bit. They're still longer than usual, but they're not like down to the floor. But then when you're ready to strike, you can like really like stretch them out. Oh, sick. Okay, can we just say like I show up, I'm like two inches taller for some reason. Yeah. My hair is like in the darkness, you couldn't really see it, but like I have like a streak of like silver in my hair now. Um, That's all. Awesome. Just be like, uh, so everyone ready? Friend, I, I'm seeing you now. You, you need a shave. Uh, like oh my goodness my beard's like out like a little bit more or something <laughs> i really have a beard it's uh oh, you know it uh you're absolutely right we follow you down the cobblestone road oh, right down eat. slightly taller in my <laughs> <laughs> that leads from your house uh alexi to the town center uh, and what you guys don't see is the house that uh, the two teachers of the village, uh, give me a moment, uh, Miss Angela Dwyer and Mr. Otis 
and right uh, have hold up with the children uh, under the advice of Mervyn, who's usually a little frantic, and so it's, it's a surprising source of good advice. Uh, they decided to get the kids together. Uh, if some of the parents were going to leave and leave them unattended, might as well leave them with the teachers. And so they bring them to their kind of like school-ish building that's used for other purposes during the the weekends and stuff. Um, and they kind of hold them up there. Those two teachers stay behind. Um, they have a decent amount of candles provided by the general store owner, Harmon Hamilton. So they are kept in the light, uh, you know, kept in candle holders. So they're not kind of loose knocking around some lanterns to keep this place well lit. Uh, and Angela Dwyer, uh, who was that again? She's the teacher. So she's there. Uh, Lenora Morris, one of the farmers, takes off with the rest of the village. Uh, Father Adams kind of stays behind and like starts saying a prayer with some of like the older people in the village, like more m around middle age. Uh, and they're praying to keep these people safe, to keep the children safe. Uh, Chris also takes off with all these villagers into the forest. And they are accompanied uh, by a, a little more sprightly than usual, um, Grayson Fielding, uh, who seems to be kind of leading the charge. Um, <laughs> you weren't there to kind of see what happened. Um, but he is like a welcome presence in the group now. Uh, and he's, he has explained to them that they must go into the forest and confront something. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll immediately go confront this man. <laughs> no, well, it's, it's, this is happening like yeah. far, far, far down uh, the village. Uh, and you guys can see, like, you see the well-lit schoolhouse far off uh, down near the cobblestone road, and then you see, like, the bobbing lights and, like, torches and stuff. Mm -hmm. People heading into the forest. And that will be <laughs> where we end our session. Yo. <laughs> Ooh, <like that. laughs> Ooh, Damn, Damn son. Sweating. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot. Holy. EXP. Yes, EXP. <laughs> it's that time. Mm -hmm. I need two. <laughs> All right. End of session. Give it to Damn. Oh, I forgot about that bone-chilling hunter. Feeling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we conclude the current mystery? No. no. Hey. Uh, did we save someone from certain death or worse? Potentially me? Definitely you. Oh. <laughs> I'll say that. Definitely. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Potential. <laughs> Uh, Death <laughs> or worse. <laughs> uh, uh, did well, I, and you know, well, no, you saved each other a lot of the times from from stuff. Uh, so good job on that. Uh, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mother, well, the, the gumshoe okay. and the flake are like. A dangerous combo. <laughs> you guys are solving everything left and right. One is like see, like seeing everything, and then the flake is like seeing what's not seen. You know, like putting <laughs> together threads that nobody else sees. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? We learned the gumshoe. <laughs> He's a that cheater. At <laughs> Why you gotta bring up old shit? <laughs> It was last week. Save it for the meeting. <laughs> so that is three out of four. So you guys get two experience, boys. Woo! Woo! One more and I level up. I miss this feeling. It makes failure fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had some fun moments. We had some some explanations. Hopefully they weren't too long. That's what I like about this system is that like to answer your question in not like a cheap way, mm -hmm. I kind of have to like give you a little bit more information and make it pertinent to the situation. Yeah. So I like doing that as opposed to just like telling you 
the answer to your question verbatim. Um, I love the connections too. It's always mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I can't wait to get to Grayson. He goes, I didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this. I swear. What the fuck I did this? Uh, I'm serious as a heart attack. I didn't do this. What? <laughs> but uh, many questions left unanswered. Uh, many children left almost unattended. Uh, everything to be resolved. In the thrilling conclusion <laughs> of Sunfall. <laughs> uh, I don't know when it's going to be, but hopefully soon, maybe next week, maybe the week after. Yeah. In the meantime, we're going to have a lovely session on Thursday, I believe. Uh, Shadeen, it's going to be you. Chittering, baby. Whoop, Chittering. Whoop. Yes. Back into the woods. Everyone's nether. <laughs> uh, if you can't get enough of the hex until then you can always follow us on twitch youtube facebook instagram tiktok actually don't go on tiktok yet there's we'll, we'll work on that I, no no I go on tiktok fo give us a follow i guess yeah TikTok, follow us you know we have some videos on there, shorts yet but we're not there, but there's make one, sure you... there's one cat video you can watch that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or, uh, you can join our Discord, which where is cats pinned. Play D &D. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, our Discord is pinned to our Twitter, so if you want to go there, uh, you can chat with us during the week. But if not, we shall see you on Thursday because we are Hexagon. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye everyone. Bye. Any minute now. <laughs> Any minute now.